Welcome back to Sasa Ray. I'm here again to address another entertaining topic that will provoke thoughts and create respectful dialogue amongst the men and women listening, ready to learn, ready to improve, and ready to express themselves in a healthy and amusing manner. Please be open-minded here. This space is for the opinionated and independent thinker, all right? We got betas in here, we got alphas in here. We got high-end single mothers and we got low-energy baby mamas. We got low-hanging fruit and we got high-value women of quality up in here. Respect each other. Hello, my name is Sansa Ray. Welcome to my channel. I am a certified life coach. I give sex, love, and relationship advice to both men and women. But this video today is for the ladies, okay? So, ladies, I saw this video on TikTok. Y'all know I be on TikTok all of the time. If you have TikTok, please go up there and check me out, okay? I'm on there. I do positive videos. I do relationship advice. I do money videos. I do all of it, you know? That's what I love. I saw this clip and I was just like, <laughs> women are so confused when it comes to this, man. She was basically saying, there is no way in the world that a woman should go to work. Fuck. I hate this mount. I really need another mount. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> God damn it. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, she was basically saying inside of this video that there's no reason in the world why women should go to work every day and then turn around and have to cook and clean. I just want to make a video real quick because I got a lot of clapback from females when I made the video about, you know, men don't like coming home to a dirty house or a woman that don't cook. And a lot of you were saying, well, men, we work too, and men should help, and, you know, it's a two-way street. And, and I understand that, but I work. I work a full-time job, but my main priority is my house and my husband. My job is my second priority. I'm not going to leave an open door for any woman to do anything. And then also a lot of you were saying, well, what's the point? You cook, you clean, and you do all this, and he still cheats. Well, you know why he cheats? Because you don't have a real man, sis. A real man is going to treat you like a queen if you treat him like a king. If he cheating on you, it's because he don't appreciate you. No matter what you do, he will never appreciate you. It's in him to cheat, no matter what you do. So appreciate your man. Do what you know to do as a woman. And don't worry about the rest. If you got a real king, he going to appreciate you. Excuse me as I kiss the sky. lot of women out here who are trying to be traditional women and modern women at the same time because they're trying to keep a man but the truth is you can't be both like you cannot sit there and do all of this work thinking it's what's going to keep a man listen if your husband or your boyfriend wants you to cook and have a meal on the table by the time he gets home from work he needs to have a homemaker in his house meaning he needs to have a stay-at-home mom not a woman who also has a career as well if you with the right one genuinely if your man is right for you he's not just helping you financially he is also helping you with the household chores so you're not always sitting there cooking and cleaning all the time he's also helping you with that as well and with parenting your children in one breath this woman is saying her priority is her taking care of her husband cooking and cleaning is her priority over her job and she's like she's not gonna leave the door open for another woman but then at the same time she's saying if your man cheats on you and another woman comes into the picture he wasn't the right man for you and I'm thinking to myself honey Leave the door wide open because it's his responsibility not to walk through it. You can cook and clean your ass off. If that man don't want you, he gonna cheat. If that man do want you and has a high sexual appetite, he's gonna cheat. Cooking and cleaning is not gonna stop that man from doing that. As a woman, most of us just want for our men to be supportive. And that means supporting our career. You know, when we're tired, help us cook dinner, clean, give the kids a bath, you know, wash the clothes sometimes. These are things that men should also do. Now, don't get it twisted. There are some men out there that if they do those things, they're expecting you to do the other manly things. And let me tell you something. 
before we proceed with caution i do want to take some time to say thank you to millionaire match who is today's sponsor are you single well if so this is the app for you only if you make about two hundred thousand dollars a year this is for people who are financially stable who are looking for a serious relationship this luxury high-end dating app you can meet over four million attractive singles looking for a serious relationship that could even lead to marriage right so enticing so exquisite <laughs> if you're like me and you love like dating tips they also provide you with professional counselors you can talk to via live streams or Q&A sessions. Use the link in the description and download today. Or you can go to directme slash and download the app from there, okay? This app is not for sugar babies or sugar daddy relations, pay pigs, cash app scams, escorting, prostitution, gift card receiving and giving, PayPal transaction, fraudulent payments, hoarding, jaywalking, running stop signs, overcooking. There used to be a married couple that used to live across the street from my house when I lived in Lawrenceville. And when it came time for this man to mow the lawn, guess who was out there with him? His wife! Out there mowing the lawn, cutting the bushes. She had the little thing. She was right there with him, cutting stuff. Had them big ass scissors with some gloves. She was out there with her husband. They did stuff together. That's what a partnership is about. That's what a healthy marriage is about. You two doing something together. Don't be too stuck on the gender roles. Like people think a gender has to be assigned to a specific chore inside of a household. No, <laughs> whoever does it best is who does it. I use my Uncle Cliff and Aunt Sterling as an example all of the time because my Uncle Cliff cooks. He loves to cook. He cooks all of the time. It doesn't mean Sterling doesn't know how to cook. It just means that Cliff is better at cooking. So he cooks all the time. It's his favorite thing to do. No one is looking at Cliff like, this is what a woman is supposed to do. Why are you doing this? <laughs> He just loves to cook. My first love, he ended up marrying somebody else after we was on and off for about 10 years. And I remember his sister coming to me and was like, man, you know, my brother's wife, she makes him cook all of the time. She makes him go to the grocery store. She never goes to the grocery store. It's always him. That's what a woman's supposed to be doing. I said, you don't understand. Like, number one, she probably has him go to the grocery store because he's the one that loves to cook. He loves to cook, you know? So that's what he does. I like doing certain things that might be classified as manly or masculine. I watch Sports Center. It doesn't mean that I can't watch it when a man's around simply because I'm not a man. No, we're just gonna watch Sports Center together, okay? I've been in plenty of relationship where we came home from the club at 3 a.m. and turned that Sports Center on repeat, okay? Plenty of times in the middle of the night, you know? If you a man, you know Sports Center. Come on, over and over and over and over in the middle of the night. My man didn't turn when I came in there like, no, you shouldn't be watching Sports Center. No, we just watched it together. I'm not saying as a woman, let's dump out your femininity and go do a whole bunch of masculine stuff. And I'm not saying to men, hey, X out your masculinity. Let's go do some feminine shit together. I'm just saying, listen, you can use your femininity because it's attractive to masculine energy. Do it, but don't go overboard for a man because you don't want to leave the door open for other women in the event that your husband walks through this door. Listen, if you got the right man, if you decide not to wash dishes or clean up sometimes, he's still not going to walk through that door. Y'all have to find men that genuinely want to love you, genuinely want to be there for you, not just when you doing something for him. Listen, don't get with men and marry them simply because he likes the fact that you have mastered the essentials of housekeeping. Girl, bye. Go out there and get you a man who genuinely loves you for who you are. And if you don't clean up, he'll clean up, you know? And y'all take turns with it. That's healthy. All that other stuff y'all talking about, it don't make sense. 
don't make sense if you want a man to take care of you financially please understand that you still should find a source of income you still should have a way you bring in income but if you have a man to where he's making you do all of that stuff even though you're going to work as well you have the wrong man genuinely men care about your well-being as well don't be out here stressing yourself we all know how much of a responsibility it is for you to go out here and have a job and cook and clean and take care of your kids and be a sex kitten at night for your man that is very stressful that is a heavy load for a woman to be carrying alone you have to rely on your husband sometimes that's the point of the partnership you can't sit here and be like i can do all this on my own so another woman won't walk through the door or the door won't be open for another woman you basically out here a single mom what is he doing for you other than providing financially? If you're out here doing all of this on your own, what's the point of being married? Require more from men instead of the bare minimum. The bare minimum this man gave you was a ring and his last name. If that's all he's doing for you and he's not like providing for you in ways that aren't just financially, because you got your own bread, right? You're out here working. So if he's not like doing something other than providing for you financially, then what's the point? You're basically a single mom with a ring and a last name. Think about this stuff logically, ladies. Think about it. Anyway, I appreciate I appreciate you being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell, okay? Namaste. Please keep in mind that I have a single moms group on Facebook. If you are a mother, you can join. Please feel free to send a request. You are welcome, okay? You go through a little short little screening process and then you're in, all right? I appreciate you joining the network, okay? Have vision and stay focused.